Interpower Corporation, the premier supplier for power system components with one week manufacturing lead time and over 4 million parts in stock. Visit www.interpower.com for more information. Today in Engineering Newswire, we're fixing the government with sixth grade math, printing invisibility cloaks, and racing the world's fastest RC car. It makes a noise like this. This kid could save the government nearly $400 million. With an interest in applying computer science to promote environmental sustainability, Severe Mercandani, a sixth grader, won his school science fair when he showed how changing fonts could save his school nearly 21 grand annually. He measured how ink was used in four different fonts, Garamond, Times New Roman, Century Gothic, and Comic Sans. He realized that by using the thinner strokes of Garamond, the school could save a load of cash on the precious liquid. He then set his sight on a slightly larger scale. With an annual printing budget of $1.8 billion, the government seemed like a good place to start. Using the General Services Administration's estimated annual ink costs, he found that the federal government could save $136 million per year if it used Garamond exclusively. An additional $234 million could be saved if state governments made the switch as well. Sounds like a lot of bureaucrats pushing paper. Aww. That hurts. Since his work was published, some of his calculations have been debunked. Well, sort of. According to the government printing office, they use third-party printers that charge per page, not by amounts of ink used. Also, to save such a large amount, the governments would have to universally adopt Garamond. When have you ever heard of any government universally adopting anything? Only in an ideal world would this 14-year-old's idea save our government a boatload of money. Well, around 1% of federal expenditures, but at least somebody is thinking outside the box. Records were made to fall, and if you like fast cars, I've got a bullet with your name on it. That was Nick Case's first pass in his RC Bullet 2, which topped out at 182.55 miles per hour. Unsatisfied with the results, since he hit 184 three months ago, Case gave it another go. Yeah, it looked fast all right, topping out at 188.87 miles per hour, much faster than the 171 miles per hour Guinness record he set with the RC Bullet 1 in December of 2012. According to an article in Popular Science, Case entered the RC world after a motorcycle crash left him searching for a thrilling but safer hobby. He built the bullet from the ground up with a body that was designed in a wind tunnel to have high downforce and low drag. Case is now just 12 miles per hour off of his goal to hit 200. And according to rcgroups.com, Case actually retired in March of 2013 after it looked like his design had hit the ceiling with its record-breaking 171 mile per hour run. But in April, his 17-year-old nephew, Chris Casey, was killed by a hit-and-run driver, making Case rethink his retirement and dedicate every run to his late nephew. Keep up the great design work, Nick. Now let's hear that sweet sound one more time. You can play it. There. You get a fast car. At some point or another, we all have wondered what it would be like to be invisible. In some instances, it would be a huge benefit, but then you have the individuals who would use it for the wrong reasons. Creeps. While Hollywood movies make it seem easy, controlling and bending light around an object to make it invisible to the naked eye is actually quite difficult. I think we'd be a little closer. No material in nature has the properties necessary to bend light in such a way. Artificial nanostructures called metamaterials have been created to help get us closer, but the challenge has been making enough of the material. Well, have no fear! University of Central Florida is here, where researchers developed a larger swath of multi-layer 3D metamaterial operating in the visible spectral range. They use nanotransfer printing, which creates metal dielectric composite films. These composite films are stacked together in a 3D architecture with nanoscale patterns for operation in the visible spectral range. Control of electromagnetic resonances over the 3D space by structural manipulation allows precise control over propagation of light. 
Following this technique, larger pieces of this special material can be created, which were previously limited to micron scale size. If all works out according to plan, the team could develop large area metamaterial absorbers, which would enable fighter jets to remain invisible from detection systems. And finally allow me to walk away with as many sweets as I want when coworkers bring them into work. Don't judge me. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in the next episode. For the PDND channel, I'm Chris Fox and this has been your Engineering Newswire. You get a fast car. I want a ticket to anywhere. Maybe we make a deal. Maybe together we can get somewhere. Any place is better. Starting from zero, got nothing to lose.